So I've done a search here on youtube.com so let's actually try to watch a video. Now the best way to use the PlayStation 3 browser is to open the videos in a separate window and to do that you just need to long press the video link. So I just need to hold down X or enter on the link I'm interested in. So let's try that. And let's see if the video will actually start up. And no, uh, no, it's been like this for about a week now, and no videos at all uh, will play. Um, some adverts do, um, and in fact, um, longer adverts can actually crash the PlayStation 3 at the moment. Okay, so this is where the PlayStation 3 bookmarklet comes into play. So let me quickly show you how to set that up. I'm going to open the bookmarklet's home page in a separate window. I use my bookmark. And uh, you might be interested in reading the history of the, uh, the PS3 browser there and the bookmarklet. Uh, but let's scroll down to the setup area. And uh, to set up the bookmarklet, you just need to position the mouse cursor on the copy my address link. Then you press triangle, cursor down to file, cursor right, cursor down to copy address of this link and press X or enter. You then press select and X or enter to create a new bookmark and then press triangle to edit that bookmark and down to edit and X or enter and again and delete the home off of the end of the title there and then press start to save that change and then cursor down to the address and press X or enter and then to delete the whole of the address, hold down the square and L1 buttons together, like so. And then cursor all the way down and all the way across to the paste button. And press X or enter. And again. And then press start to accept that change. And finally cursor down to OK and press X or enter. OK, so that's now set up. So press circle to exit bookmarks and then the best way to close a window um, is to just hold down the circle button which also works even if you're zoomed. Let me demonstrate that. Okay, so to use the bookmarklet on a page you just need to press select to display your bookmarks and then just cursor to the bookmarklet and press X or enter like so. Let's allow that to do its stuff. And then now at the moment it, it immediately replaces the YouTube's video player because adverts can cause uh, issues. Um, and what you need to do is wait until the video starts playing and then press down on the D-pad and X or enter to go full screen. I've turned off the uh, sound so you can uh, still hear me uh, talking. So you can see that's playing very nicely in DVD resolution or 480p. So I'm going to press circle to exit full screen. Um, and let's just check out a few of the features here on the video page. So let's zoom in. And at the top there you see the uh, bookmarklet's uh, quality selector and uh, the default quality 480p works best in the PS3 browser so uh, it really is best to stick with that. Um, you might, uh, you could give 720p a quick try but uh, that doesn't work so well. Okay, um, so let's scroll down the page here um, and you can see that I move the the character count for the comments you add to the right hand side so then when you when it displays the text entry dialog it doesn't obscure the count and of course above that you've got your interesting top comments for the video so let's come down here, oh there you go um, now what the bookmarklet does is if you click the show the comment link there it will display the whole thread including um, comments marked as uh, like there marked as spam so you get to read the whole thread which can be quite interesting okay so let's close this uh, video window by holding down circle 
So if you use the bookmarklet on non-video YouTube pages, you get some extra features. So let me select the bookmarklet again. And I'm going to straight away press X or Enter to prevent the splash page there from shutting down. And that is the, the actual page I wanted to show you. So let me zoom in here. So this is a video wall of the most popular videos for the past uh, week or seven days. And if you position the cursor on the either the, the top videos um, tab there or the seven days uh, time tab, you can see it actually has a video wall effect. And if you move the cursor to the video, it will tell you, give you the stats for it. So the most popular video is, um, what's this? Xbox One Fanboys Review of the Puppets We've Encountered. And how about the, the next one along, which is, how does Battlefield 4 play on PS4? Gamescon 2013. Well, there you go. I'll, uh, I'll let you discover the uh, the other features in there. So let's close the uh, splash page by then actually clicking the link. And you can see it adds the uh, bookmarklet's rating indicator to the uh, video entries, uh, which allows you to avoid the, the turkeys. Uh, let's come down here. Uh, if there's a really bad video, um, see if I can. I don't think there are any on this page, but it will come up in red. The The number in the, the box there is the total number of uh, votes the video has received. And um, so there, about 10% oh, have given that a thumbs down. Now, if you position the, the mouse cursor on the video thumbnail, it gives you a, a slideshow for the thumbnail. So that might give you a little idea of what the video is about. Let's try another one there. Okay, so let's go through for that. Um, and let's actually try uh, playing another video. I'm going to use the Machinima one here. Um, and where you've used the, the bookmarklet, you don't need to long press the videos. It will automatically load them in a new window when you just click them, like so. So as soon as the page um, is fully loaded, then select the bookmarklet again. And off it goes. And when it starts playing, then press down on the D-pad and X or enter to go full screen. Are the guys okay so let's pause that for full details of the features um, for each particular plugin for the bookmarklet uh, check out the features page which you can get to via the the home page uh, for the bookmarklet and before I go let me just show you how you deal with uh, embedded videos which again don't play so to save time I've skipped ahead to the actual uh, embedded uh, video here. Uh, it's a, an interview with Mark Cerny. Uh, so let's actually try uh, clicking the embedded player and it thinks about it and no, just like on the video pages. So what you need to do is click the video link at the top of the player twice to open an actual video page and then just use the bookmarklet uh, on the page. So I'll skip ahead to, uh, to demonstrate that. Okay, so I've reloaded the page. So as I say, you just need to click, you see the link there at the top, you just need to click that twice. The first time sets focus to the player and then if you click it again, as you can see that actually opens the video page. Um, and then you would just use the bookmarklet uh, on the page as usual. I'll uh, quickly show you that. 
So you can see there an advert's actually going to attempt to start up. And you'll want to use the bookmarklet, uh, as I say, as soon as you can after the page is loaded. Um, so then it can bypass the advert because, as I, as I mentioned previously, the some adverts can actually crash the uh, the PS3. Hopefully, this is not going to be one of them. I think it's going to be all right uh, based on the disk activity I can see there. Give it a second. Yep, there it goes. Okay, so let's actually just close that window and let's close that one too. Oops down circle um, and one last thing I'll, I'll mention before I go uh, if you use the uh, the bookmarklet on your uh, subscriptions page um, that will work too you know you get the ratings indicators um, you just need to allow it um, give it plenty of time to start up uh, because it it runs especially slow I'll select mine um, in the PlayStation 3 browser, as I will hopefully demonstrate. Skipped ahead to my subscriptions page, and as you can see, it um, it's rather slow loading up. So if you use the bookmarklet, um, again, that takes uh, quite a while to uh, finish, but it will get there in the end. Um, anyway, um, enjoy. Bye for now.